I learned something over the weekend, John. I was setting up my old iMac 2014 Retina iMac. So OG Retina iMac 27 inch. Uh, it runs Big Sur. It will not run Monterey, at least not according to Apple. But uh, but still runs Big Sur. It's the one that my M1 Mini replaced, the one that I traded for that domain back in the spring or whatever. And it's been sitting on my floor, driving me crazy that it's just sitting there doing nothing. No one in my house needs it. Uh, but I found out my brother uh, and uh, he needed one for the household. And so it was like, perfect. So I wanted to, I had not done anything with it. So it was time to format it. And then, of course, uh, you know, get it up to Big Sur. I made the error of doing that the wrong way and couldn't reinstall Big Sur from the recovery partition. The recovery partition uh, wanted to do internet recovery, which wanted to put Yosemite on there. And I was like, mm, no, don't want to head down that path. So I decided to make a bootable installer using Apple's create install media command that's inside of Big Sur. The closest computer I had to me at the time was that M1 Mini. Now, I do have Intel Macs. I've got one here in the studio. Uh, I've got one, uh, you know, over at the house, of course. But I wanted to see what happens if I do create install media with Big Sur as downloaded on an M1. And so I did that. And sure enough, it booted up that Intel Mac just fine. And the install worked. So it is a universal installer that create install media from Apple creates. Uh, and I, like I said, I proved that by necessity on whatever it was Saturday or Sunday or something. Um, so, and a, another piece of advice with that, stop using thumb drives. Uh, 